Okay, hello everyone, Victor Momo from Excel Moments, and this is a continuation of the video on checkboxes. And I would advise that you watch my first video where I showed you an overview of checkboxes, a few bugs and features, and one or two use cases. In this video, I want to show you another use case which I love so much, one that I've demonstrated prior to checkboxes coming in natively. But now that we have checkboxes, I'm like, well, no better time to demonstrate this than now. But before then, I want to appreciate those who have subscribed to my channel. And to those who haven't subscribed, you appreciate it as well. So please do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell icon so that when I post a video, you will be the first to know. So let's go back to check boxes because we need to check these boxes. One thing I forgot to add in the initial video was about clearing pretty much check boxes when you have them in a cell. So let me select these cells here and let's go to insert. And then we do checkbox okay and then let's just talk with them for the fun of it so now if you want to clear these checkboxes what you most likely will do is to press you know delete and once you press delete what you see is that you have that third state i described which is it's not really there you know so what you see is it's not checked it's not unchecked it's more like a ghost checkbox you know when you come out of it you don't get to see it at all it may be a good thing in the sense that if you want to then pretty much activate them. You already have it in that state and you can easily click to activate. But if you want to totally clear them, then you select the cells and then you go to the home tab, you know, and then you do clear. If you do clear formats, you know, then that clears it. If you do clear all, then it clears both the format and the true and false that you have written in the cell. That's all I want to say on that. Now to the use case, which is where we use a checkbox to determine what columns you know you want to return when you do a filter so basically when you filter you can filter on i mean an entire you know set of data maybe like 10 columns but you really only want to return you know two or three columns typically we could use a nested filter to make this work or we could also use choose calls but i see that the nested filter lends itself better to using checkboxes let me show you the basic example here so what i want to do is i want to just filter based on whatever department is chosen here so i'll do a filter here right i'm going to choose the entire thing without the headers okay right and then i'm just going to do where the department this is not a filter video this is just checkboxes is equal to whatever i selected here basically okay oh yeah that's supposed to be three <laughs> okay so that's that so it means that if you kind of change this to finance you know some say finance finance or well, whatever you know okay so this gives you that but now let's assume you don't want to return all of these columns as you can see here what you want is you want to select which columns you want returned what do we typically do what we do is to do a nested filter meaning over this we're going to filter again you know based on another criteria so in this case what we will do is we just pull up you know curly braces and then we use non-zero numbers and zero to determine which ones we want to return most people will say one and zero but not necessarily one and zero just a non-zero number and zero so basically let's say we want to return here i want the serial number so first that i would say one because i want it um, employee id let's say i don't want it i'll say zero first name i want it let's say one last name i say no higher date i say no location i say yes that's one department i say yes one gender i say no age i say one so basically with the ones and zeros that would determine which columns i have returned so see okay so all the ones that have ones are returned as you can see because i said one for the serial number it's returned but i can also you know change this one you know to any other number say four right so it's not necessarily one and zero it still gets returned i can change it to minus you know 4.5 the point is that in excel true and false is not one and zero it's really non-zero number and zero but that's besides the point but i probably don't like this idea of you know having to write one comma this comma that i probably may want to use you know check boxes so what i'm going to do is i'll take out that whole portion and instead of that i will feed these check boxes in there the good thing is that the check boxes are either true or false which is like one and zero automatically so if they are checked it's going to return them if they are not it's not going to return them so let me close the bracket of course now i don't have anything checked so you know it's going to return a calc error which i can fix well if i want to by using the last argument of the filter okay basically i'm doing this right so now if i check any of this so once i check that serial number once i check first name once i check last name 
okay and this is really cool what i can do is for the headers too i can pretty much do the same thing so that i have the headers moving along with it so i can just filter in this case it's more like filtering the headers you know based on whatever the selection is here okay so you can have that on top right so that they are kind of aligned right so now you could select all of them for example if you select everything let's say Control shift right and just do a space bar it means you don't want any of them you want all of them okay so that's a quick toggle of all of them so it's really cool in the sense that you have you know that flexibility to determine which columns you know you want to select now some people may not like it this way you know having the check boxes and the headers this way they may want to have it in a different location so for example let me do this let me select this and the headers copy and then let's paste transpose here okay so alt e s e okay let's do that uh do i like the borders mm, okay yeah maybe i just remove them alt h b n okay i don't like the board whatever and then alt h no, yeah, <laughs> just too many shortcuts. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, let's come here. Right. So what I want to be able to do now is just looking at this selection here, you know, determine which columns I want. So I'm going to do my regular filter, you know, yet again. I'm going to select, let's select everything but the headers. Okay. And then just do departments here, right, equals to whatever I selected here. So let's assume that's everything. Okay. So now that's that. So what I want to do is now have a nested filter, you know, where I would control it using these checkboxes. Okay. So I'm going to come in here and I'll put a filter over this. Right. And now don't forget this, the data is going from left to right. The checkboxes here are going, you know, from top to bottom. So it's not going to work that same way. Pretty much you have to do a transpose. But if you don't want to do a transpose, as in just to make these checkboxes align with the data, you can kind of use a two row. So to row means that you take this data as in the checkboxes and then you kind of flip them, you know, horizontally. So I can say to row, which is kind of like a transpose of whatever this is. Okay. So, so that it aligns, right? Because you can't be having, you know, data that is horizontal, pretty much going from left to right and controlling it with checkboxes that are going from top to bottom. Okay. So that's kind of that, you know, and then, yeah, once you check now serial number, so if you prefer it this way, you know, you could also have it that way, right? And you can also nest, you know, the uh, headers on top of it. But the interesting thing here is that I don't have to write the 1001 and so on. Okay. So what I just pretty much do is have the checkboxes and then they help me toggle whichever columns I want to display. That's all I thought to share in this video. If you like it, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel. Excel moments for now. I'm out.